But we do have a report from Ike Siemens. He was in Tabriz yesterday during a demonstration protesting against the execution of 11 followers of the Ayatollah Shariat Madari, who was opposed to the kind of government decreed by the Ayatollah Khomeini. Siemens report was not transmitted from Iran. The demonstration in Tabriz began after most of these young men and schoolboys heard about the execution. The protest soon became violent. The rioters broke store windows and roughed up shop owners who were slow to close. Banks were special targets. One of the riot's leaders said they are symbols of imperialism and should be destroyed. After several attempts to break into a bank, the rioters finally succeeded. They raced inside to continue their destruction. Violence and destruction have been going on here for a month. Ever since Ayatollah Shariat Madari, the spiritual leader of this city's large Turkey-speaking population, said he opposes some of Ayatollah Khomeini's plans for Iran. Many of the people here also want autonomy, but the central government has been unwilling to discuss that. Instead, it has sent in more revolutionary guards to put down protests. But the guards did not show up during this riot. Some arrests were made later. Now, Western journalists can no longer cover stories in Tabriz. Local officials who were appointed by the central government charge that Western reporters lie about what's going on here. Ike Siemens, NBC News, Tabriz. And henceforth, there will be no foreign journalists permitted to work in Tabriz. That's the word today from the Governor General of Azerbaijan Province.